but after the fade to black, I found it kind of went a little too long. I think that uh, you have a point, but I think what he should have done is integrate that last two minutes into the previous part of his review so that he can have that uh, dramatic build and end that uh, yeah. was so pleasing. That is such a rewarding um, final close to any review. I mean, that's the kind of thing where you'd read it as a logline or a synopsis, and that would be the very, the very, uh, you know, the icing on the cake just to read that on the end. And he got the pool he, he always wanted. I, this is probably the one I got the most enjoyment out of, just because I had no familiarity with the the material being uh, reviewed. With all the other ones, I had seen or read what they were talking about. This one, I, I, I went completely blind. And so I found it really enjoyable just because I was learning things. I kind of disagree with Review Spot's thing about it being kind of like Return of the King. I agree that that, was, that would have been a great ending line, but I felt like he had the summary, and that was the end of the summary, and then he had like the context of the movie and how it dealt with things. I thought a lot of the stuff that came after that was really interesting, like that the guy was an actual director and the the, the woman had actually had never really made the transition to talkies. And I thought all that was very interesting and, and informative. And I enjoyed the entire thing. I think that, uh, that, uh, review spot does have a point, but I, I think that instead of, I think that that last little bit of information that he gives, I think is essential. And I think he needs that stuff in there. Cause well, I'll give a reason in a minute, but <laughs> I think he should have taken that and, uh, and found ways to insert it into his uh, synopsis because uh, I don't necessarily think that things need just a straight synopsis. I think your entire review can reveal what you need to reveal at the time that it needs to be revealed. Not necessarily, here's everything you need to know. Now I'm going to talk about how that stuff works in history. I think you can say, this is what you need to know. This is how it works in history. This is what you need to know, and so forth and so on down the line. He must have been ecstatic with this contest or this challenge. Cause, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. thinking that too. <laughs> I mean, the guy's probably like 10 years before I was born. Where do I start? I think it's interesting that he chose a film that had the ending at the beginning of the film because Citizen Kane was the same way. I don't know what that means. I just think it's interesting. Because, <laughs> you know, he seems to like Citizen Kane. And, uh, that was an amazing insight you had there, Vince. <laughs> it was very deep. I think what's, what's the best thing about this is that he demonstrated amazing perspective and appreciation for history and time period. and uh, the, the Which he's done lesson. kind of with all the videos. Yeah. yeah. His history lesson was impressive, and it wasn't boring, and it wasn't a book report. And it was more than I re expected. He, I uh, think he should be a college professor of history. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe even film history. He's already he, got the jack in the pipe. His, uh, his summary, I thought, was a little extensive. And, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but we don't necessarily need to know the entire happenings of the plot either. I, I too thought that the that the summary at the beginning was maybe a little bit um, longer than it needed to have been, and and honestly, maybe the issue isn't that the summary was too long, but that I would have liked the summary interwoven with a lot of the points he was making. The standard way that a lot of professional reviewers do it is exactly this, where they give you um, where they give you a synopsis and then they give you all the points they want to make about the movie, and um, it's like it's like two different things that are stuck together, and there's not really a cohesive thing that connects them other than the fact that you know that it's all about the same piece of piece of work. I much prefer it when uh when somebody can can uh you know you know weave those things those things together but ha having having said that um that would have bothered me more with a movie that i knew better and i didn't mind it so much here just because i didn't know the material so i needed the synopsis i wouldn't have understood half the points he was making if he hadn't told me what was happening in the movie so i think Every bit of material that's here is necessary, and he maybe could have just organized it differently. That's not to say that it's disorganized. I just might maybe would have enjoyed it to be um, organized somewhat differently. I love his format. Um, I, I, I love the way that, that, that he edits his stuff together. He's, he obviously spends a lot of time on his videos and shows they're very professional. He could have said, pick something 50 years before you were born, and he would have been totally cool with it. Pick something 100 years before you were born. Well, let's see what's on the shelf. Oh, here we go. We got a list six. <laughs> Time for the top banana, and we will begin with Manos. Uh, I was trying to go between uh, Fusion and Tori this week, and Ma uh, Mr. Fusion, so Sunset Boulevard is just too good. Uh, that's my choice. But Well, if I, if I could go and pick my banana, I would probably say 
Um, <laughs> a yellow as one. Much as, as much as I like Shades at Night, um, I, I think I did pick him last week. You did. As much as I liked his video, I think for how refreshing and how different outside his realm the video was, um, I might go with the evil professor on this one. Eric. I'm also going to go with uh, Miss Tower Fusion's uh, Sunset Boulevard. I thought it was an awesome video, and I really, really enjoyed it. Vince? Mr. Fusion, I can't say that I <laughs> disagree. I, I really enjoyed the video. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with um with Spot on this actually and vote for uh, the Evil Professor. Um, I was I was really impressed with what he with with what he uh, managed on that. So uh, it looks like Mr. Fusion is the in fact top banana this week. And uh, now we're going to go to uh, voting uh, someone off. Manos, who do you think you're going to have to vote off this week? Uh, I wish to apologize because uh, let me just say there was there was not one bad video this week. Uh, but of course, according to the rules, we do have to choose somebody. So yeah, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to vote off Laser Dude. All right, and uh, Spot. I'm kind of in the same boat. I I think everybody did really great videos this week. It was a really hard pick, but. I'm going to have to go with Laser Dude. It seemed like he, he had such a strong video last week that I was I was expecting better and better and better, and it just seemed like he kind of fell a few steps back from, from how well he did it with last challenge. All right, Eric? I'm actually also going to go Laser Dude. Um, I, I, I definitely agree with Manos. All the videos this week were good. Um, I, I really enjoyed this video. I thought it was a really good video. I just felt it was a smidge not as good as the other ones, and uh, so I'm going to have to vote him off, but and I feel bad about it. Laser Dude, I, I have to agree it's Laser Dude, but I will say that I think Laser Dude has a lot of potential. I think that he has a lot more to show us. I just think this competition, or the, this comp excuse me, this challenge was uh, was something that I think stumped him a bit. And because uh, it is hard to jump back to a time period that in which you did not exist, it's it's a lot to ask of a single person. I too am uh, going to have to vote um, Laser Dude. It wasn't it wasn't totally without historical perspective, but it, it was it was less so than the others. That is uh, that is that. So unfortunately, uh, Laser Dude, thanks so much. We we really appreciated having you on. You were tons of fun, and uh, we are going to uh, um, now have uh, five people left. And the challenge for next week, uh, I think, is going to be probably the hardest thing we've asked for yet. Um, this will be the one where <laughs> where everybody is going to have to do something I don't think any of them have ever done before. Um, this one is going to be all about getting out of your comfort zone and trying something that you don't usually do. And next time, we're going to ask for every reviewer to review an album. Any kind of album? Yes, any any album at all. Music is what we want for next time, uh, a, a, full, a full album. Um, I, I, one artist, not like a movie album or something like that, like like um, like an artist or, or, a, or a band. Or, Why can't they do a movie album? In my opinion, an album is typically a, a, a cohesive art piece. Some The Rolling Stones anthology is not the same thing as the rolling stones uh oh crap i forgot the name of my favorite album from the rolling stones <laughs> <laughs> well i mean here's the deal you could do a movie album if it was all one artist but i mean like don't do like uh like something that's a bunch of different artists because it's not really a cohesive piece yeah. I, 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 between... what you're saying. I got a question could somebody yeah. do a symphony if they wanted to do it maybe yeah i'd say yeah so we're talking about all genres of music rock classical country yes Mm -hmm. Whatever. The time limit on this one is five to seven minutes again. By and no one. best ofs or compilations or things like that. And best actual albums. albums. Anyway, thanks a lot for, uh, for for listening to Who Reviews the Reviewers. We'll see you once again next time when we'll uh, see what everybody has to say about an album. And I'm Captain Logan. I'm the real Manos. I'm Eric. Review Scott. It's Vince! <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. <laughs>